And we are back another week of Stand Up Explained. Um, I am one of your hosts, Brant Tobler. And I am one of your hosts, Andrew Slater. And uh, we are happy to have you back. First of all, we just want to say thank you for all the nice comments. Thank you guys for rating, and review, and subscribing. Um, the only way this thing's going to, I mean, it's gaining traction. We, we love it, but it's, it's, it's all word of mouth. So if you're in this comedy world, inevitably somebody probably daily is going to say, Hey, I want to be a comedian or how do you become a comedian? Please, uh, direct them to the podcast because we, I think what we're doing is great and best of all, it's free. So, uh, if you can remember, but if you want to post something about it, do any of that, we see the numbers growing. We're already, I mean, we almost tripled our first month this halfway through this month. So the listeners are up, so we appreciate it. And, um, so I just want to say thank you to that. And, and the nice, I've gotten a lot of nice messages and comments, so I just thought that was really cool. So we want to say thanks to that, and today we're going to go into a topic of much debate. <laughs> yeah. I think this, before I even announce the topic, I'm going to say, I think if you tuned into this one, you're going to be like, this might be a quick one, but the more I think about it, this might be a monster episode, <laughs> mainly because of me. But all right, here's what we're yeah. talking about. What? Well, no you should wear on stage what you should wear on stage is what we're going to discuss today yeah and like you said it seems like the easiest thing but a lot of comics put a lot of thought into it some comics put no thought into it uh i know the first 10 years at least i was doing stand-up i put exactly zero thought into it (laughs) i would just did not care at all Yeah. Um, I think we're both kind of violating like an old school rule right now on the podcast, wearing the hat with the front facing bill. I actually, do you agree with that one? Do you not, do you wear a hat on stage or no? You try not to. I do. I, I mean, I don't even know where we should start this. I, but that's the, that's the one, but we should start with that because that's the one I've gotten the most uh, notes for is the hat. Old school guys say don't wear a hat. I wear a hat for my own insecurities because I'm balding and, and um, I just have never, I don't ever feel good about my hair. And that, and that's maybe where we should start. This thing is I'm a big wear whatever you want because just be funny, you know? Right. But and I think, I the, think hat, the hat thing gets directly to that. So like you could wear the hat backwards mm-hmm, wear which I a did. hat that doesn't have the bill. But like when you're, the, especially in certain lighting situations, if you're wearing the hat down with the bill, people can't see your face. And then yeah. they, it's harder to make people laugh if they can't see your facial expressions. So yeah, that's where that, yeah. 100%, 100% where it's come from. And everyone's told me that. And I agree with it. I mean, I totally get it when I film or anything. And I think, um, you know, the more I've worked on facial expressions and, and performing my jokes, I definitely shouldn't wear the hat, but I, I'm also not as confident if I don't wear the hat. And I think I'm a better comedian when I'm confident, but I'm telling you every, the more successful comedians I've been around, they'll always say, Hey man, you got to lose the hat is the note I've gotten. I mean, the original note, which everyone knows is don't wear shorts on stage, which I got, which is again, an old school rule. But then, people be like, well, Gabriel Iglesias wears shorts. I go, well, Gabriel Iglesias is famous. That'll go. We might as well get that out of the way. Uh, what we talk about every episode, if you can sell tickets, you do whatever the fuck you want. You could wear a clown suit if you want to. Yeah. But that was the original one was the no shorts one. No flip flops. I think was the first one told to me. Yeah. 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 And I used to wear shorts on stage too, but it is a bad look. I don't know why, uh, there's just something distracting about legs, bare legs. I don't know what it is. Uh, and for some reason with shorts, like when women wear skirts, no one has a, it's not a problem, you know, but yeah. shorts for some reason is just a bad look. And so they, <laughs> and I, it's, I've heard it enough times where that one, that doesn't even have like a real logistical reason. The hat with the shadow of the face, hundred percent, just tactically, it makes sense. Don't wear the hat. People can't see your face. But the shorts, I mean, it says casual, all this stuff, but it doesn't really distract. I mean, I guess it's distracting, I guess, is the answer. You're distracting yeah. people with your hairy legs or something. I don't know. But so, yeah, I, I, I do shorts. Because I'm a big shorts guy. I wear shorts all the time. But it is like uh, maybe like an inside baseball rule or inside. It's just a rule where it is so ingrained in my head. 
I will never perform in shorts. And there's been times when I would just like, let's say I went to somewhere to support and I, and a comic didn't show up or I got thrown up or something and I thrown up on stage and I was like, Oh, I can't do this. I'm in shorts. Yeah. This is like the one rule, which is crazy because if you listen to anything I've said so far or continue to say, I always pretty much say there is no rules if you're funny, but for some reason, and I think you could still do shorts if you, I'm not saying, that you can't, I just don't think it, it's just something I, you think it's for the younger comics still are getting that note or is I have it no our idea. generation? I have no idea. I, it's ironic. Cause when I started, I was young when I started, you know, and that's why I dressed so badly. Cause I just never, you know, I was from Seattle. I was living in Bellingham. You know, I didn't care what I wore at all. I was not a clothes guy at all. And then, so I started doing stand up and just this, you know, dark club open mic night nobody is seattle in the like late you know early or early 2000s so people aren't dressed up really you know so it was uh there was no pressure to like really look good so i wore shorts i wore sweatpants on stage yeah. before i wore just ratty stuff all this. i wore jerseys i'd come straight from like a seahawks game in the jersey yeah. <laughs> you know do do an open mic with a horse voice i mean i i did all that but I think the the real thing that I try to think about now is not like everybody, if you wear a suit, you'll be more successful. I don't think that's true, right? Or if you just wear really fancy, like, street clothes, you'll be more successful. You know, I don't think that's true either. But I do think you want to dress with intention on stage. So... Mm -hmm you want to, like you said, I wear the hat, like you've thought it through at least. It's not like mm -hmm. I just wore what I wear. I, I went to Chipotle and now I'm going on stage. I'm just wearing what I wore to Chipotle. You've, you've put some thought into it. You're like, I'm wearing the hat for a reason because it makes me feel comfortable. I feel like I look good. And then if I feel good, I can perform more confidently. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so the last, so just for example, last time I was opening for Rob Schneider and he, and the, I've opened for him a couple times and he, it's such a big rule to him. And he, to the point where after the show, and I wouldn't say lecture, I don't think it comes from a bad place, but he pulled me to the side and he's like, you can't, you got to get rid of the hat, even though he wears a hat, but that's another story, <laughs> which is again, I guess goes back to our rule. Cause yeah. he, so this last time after the show, he pulls me to the side and we were talking about some of my jokes and stuff. And then he was like, your outfit which is crazy because he's like in sweatpants and like a vest and like a, like a paper boy hat or whatever. Right. Not super dressed up, but he doesn't need to be there famous to see him. But he was like, the lecture I've gotten is you're supposed to dress better than the crowd where you, yeah. so they're coming to see you. But again, I don't feel comfortable. If I dress up like in a suit, I'm either going to court or I'm at a wedding. Two things I hate. So, cause I don't yeah. know how to dance. So I, 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 if I put a suit on, I'm like, God, I might end up in jail or even worse. I might have to dance in front of people. So for me dressing up, it was, it's not good for comedy for me, but yeah. So I, I think the key though, then is to like, just dress to the top end of your style or like mm -hmm. for who you are. So if you're a hoodie guy, you wear hoodies all the time, just wear a really nice hoodie, you know, yeah. like, don't just wear the ratty one with the mustard stain on it or whatever, you know, like your show you, hoodie. Cause you, yeah, a show hoodie. I mean, you've seen people like you're at a, forget comedy, take comedy out of it. But sometimes you're either at a party or just at a restaurant, whatever. And somebody walks in and you're like, Oh man, they look like they're somebody, mm -hmm. you know, and you, you, you don't, you think they might be famous or something, but you don't recognize their face, but they just have this look and it's nine times out of 10, it's just because they're wearing like really or they put a lot of thought and effort yeah. into what they're wearing. And it might be because it's really expensive and fancy or just because they've taken time to like iron everything really good or whatever. But you're like, oh, I wonder who that is, you know? And you kind of want that if you can. Like I said, I am not a dress up guy at all. <laughs> I've had to like really push my game along as far as it'll go just to get where I look decent on stage, right? But um, I think that's what you want. You want whatever it is your style is or whatever you feel comfortable in. You want it to be at the highest level of that as you can get because you do want people when you walk out on stage or like, like you said, like, oh, that looks like 
somebody who's supposed to be up there. Yeah. Well, just going through my head, like the progression and, and this, and unfortunately for uh, the women comedian listening, I don't have, we don't have a lot of advice on this one. I mean, I would, again, I think it probably just goes back to where, what you feel most comfortable, but just through my head of comedy, when I started, I remember when we were in LA, everybody just wore a hoodie. It was like, everyone had their nicest hoodie and like jeans. And then it became like a leather jacket. And now it feels like all the biggest comedians are big into their shoes. Everybody spends a lot of money on like dope shoes. Right. Is, but everybody, I think it's became a lot less formal. Um, at least for well, me, I like, I, I'm less formal on the, on like corporate gigs and stuff, but yeah, but then that you, so then I guess we can talk about that, but just really quick before we move on to that though, it's like, again, I don't think it's, it is less formal than maybe like 30 years ago. I do think it's more formal now than it was like 10 years ago. Yeah. I think people are dressing better on stage now than they were 10 years ago. But um, the key isn't like what it is like formal, you know, to me, it means like a suit and tie, right? It's not yeah. that it's effort. It's money. It's like intention. Like people are just wearing the best version of what it is yeah. of that style. Because, you know, like when someone goes to like the MTV movie awards or something, yeah, they're wearing sneakers and a t-shirt and jeans, but that outfit might've cost like $800. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so there's like different levels of t-shirt and jeans mm -hmm. and there are, <laughs> you know the t-shirt yeah. and jeans i've ever worn no one would ever let me wear that to the mtv movie with, you know <laughs> so it's it's a whole different like thing and i think now comedians put a lot more i mean it's just more competitive now in every single phase of the game including how you look on stage i think and yeah. obviously again caveat most important thing is that you're funny of course but people are going to what you look like is like the first thing people see and it unfortunately better or worse it does matter you know yeah well yeah well you you know it's funny when i was thinking about this topic and you and you touched on the lady last um last episode in dealing with bookers that if you just sent a video of, in a suit right she'd book you and i got into a big fight with her on the internet saying that's ridiculous it's stupid right. you should wear whatever you want and then she told me we were both too, we were just arguing, but then she, it's like, you have to wear a suit. And then I went through, um, just like Instagram and just found all the best comedians. And you see like Chappelle in a wife beater, Tosh is in a t-shirt, Hannibal, everyone. I posted like 20 examples of some of the most famous comics and none of them wear suits. And then she was like, and then she, I think fired back with like Seinfeld. And then she, she did trump me a little bit and was like, well, if you want real money, then she sent me like Seinfeld and like Chris Rock and stuff. But I think I just, if you, I think it still does just go back to if you're funny, that's all that matters, but probably not when you're starting out though. Well, here's, here's something that I've, I've never really thought about before, but it's funny when you said that, um, it kind of makes sense to me now, but so if you had a corporate gig, right. Mm -hmm. And let's say it was for like a really formal charity and it's a black tie thing. So you just have no choice. You got to wear a tuxedo. There's just, everyone else is wearing one. If you didn't wear one, you'd have to be like Larry, the cable guy or something yeah. to justify not wearing the tuxedo. I would feel, I think you would the same way, feel super awkward in a suit, right? It'd feel really weird doing comedy in a suit, you know? But you would do it and you do the best job you can. You'd have to do it because that's what the gig required. And sometimes there's gigs that'll require you to wear a suit, you know, or yeah. just dress super, super, super formal when you're not used to it. But I think there's, and then they always say, like, if you get a television spot, like, you don't want to dress like you've never dressed before on stage because you want to be comfortable. But I think that's the value in doing those types of gigs is like, get some reps dressed differently yeah. then you know get out of your comfort zone when it doesn't really matter because you never know you might have to do and you might want to start wearing suits on stage maybe that will end up being like the way you go so yeah. i think like getting those reps is not a bad thing and like and pushing your limit on what you think you can wear on stage is smart too like because you want to yeah. get you don't want to just stay in your 
in your small comfort zone. You want to push it a little bit. No, that's, that's a great point because you're right. Cause then you just, there is times when I've had to dress up and I wish I would have had a few more reps and felt more comfortable. Yeah. And there is plenty of times not, I mean, I've worn, I've not worn my hat on stage plenty of times and stuff, but, and then stuff like that we hope you all get to like when we were on TV for comedy central and for Conan, I think we both had to bring three or four outfits and you kind of pick what you think you want, but then they could be like, right. uh, no, you're not going to wear that. You're going to wear what we, you know, I remember right. I had my outfit all picked out and I had, I was ready. I was so determined to wear this, the, the shirt I wanted on TV. And when I got there, they're like, uh, nope, you're not wearing that. And I had to adjust to something I'd never even got close to wearing. And luckily it, it worked out, but it was still like, I, I wish I, I think that's a great point. You should just have, it's just like what we say about stage. You should just have as many reps at everything. That you yeah. Can. Yeah. And like, I know what I wore, for conan was was super close to what i would normally wear on stage but again it was like brand new like really nice stuff that i went and bought specifically for that um because i was like well i want to look good you know i want to get to the top end of where i am comfortably but like for letterman the rule was you had to wear like a suit suit like you Mm -hmm. could not wear just like what you feel comfortable and you had to wear a suit you know yeah and to the point where there was a story where like I think it was uh joe wong uh because i knew him in boston but he got letterman and he was going back and forth with the tape and stuff and the tape was like locked in everybody loved it and and they showed it to dave he's like that's great but is that what he's gonna wear and they're like no 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 he'll wear a suit he's like well i have to see it so like they he, then he had to do the same tape again in the suit he had to, letterman had to see him wear the suit before uh-huh. You would book them on the show, like to that level of like they were specific about what they wanted. Well, you know to that's wear. a good. Our buddy Andy, I think Andy told me that he had bought his Letterman suit before he got Letterman as like a goal to work towards it. But as yeah. you say this, I think, I think if I was going to do Letterman, I think I would have won. I think in hindsight, I I would wanted I would want some reps in that suit to feel the most comfortable and. Oh yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I think it's crazy to wear something you've never worn before for the first time Mm -hmm. when you're doing like your most important show. And, and the other thing I want to say about just what you wear is um, it can have an effect on your career because you want to believe that it doesn't matter. I know when, like I said, when I started out, I was hardcore, like it doesn't matter what you wear on stage. You could wear sweatpants and flip flops in a stained t-shirt it's the jokes that's all anybody cares about that's what makes you funny but then i worked one time with a comic named jared logan it's a really funny guy and he told me i was opening for him so he had like advice for me you know and he told me that at one point in his career again he didn't start wearing suits because some comics do that sometimes some comics wear a suit every time on stage yeah and that becomes like their thing they're like the suit guy and it works for them whatever but he told me one day he was like, I'm just going to put more effort into it. Like, I'm just going to care what I look like every day. Mm-hmm. Like whatever that is, you know, like I said, it could be the t-shirt and jeans, but it's going to be like a nice t-shirt and jeans and it's going to look cool. People are going to go, Oh, and he said that just had like this instant effect on his career in general, like getting booked on local shows, getting booked on the road, his tapes, getting more interest from bookers and stuff. And so you want to believe that it's just pure funniest wins all the time. And I really thought that all the time, but yeah. man, a lot of other stuff goes into it. And one of them can be close. And I always think of that when Jared told me that, and he's like, his career just changed from just, from just that little, that little yeah. switch. I think about he's a hundred percent right. I'm like you, I fought it. And I wish I, I, I still wish, I think it's my own insecurities of like, I wish I wore like a tighter, sh- I, I think cause I, I'm not comfortable. I wish I would lose like 15 pounds. And like I said, I've never, as I've started to go bald up top, like, um, I never can get my hair where I like it. So it's just so much easier to wear a hat. And plus I have this, my head, see, look at that mess, but, uh, <laughs> my head turns red. I've been over the last year for my gluten thing. Cause I have a gluten allergy. 
so that's just like embarrassing when the spotlight hits it. It's super red. So even when like Rob Schneider's like, Hey man, you should take your hat off. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I really should. Cause I don't want to They say right. you don't want to distract from the performance, but if my head is just blaring red because of my allergies or my gluten, that's just not a good look either. But I think definitely Jared's right. If me and you are standing next to each other and you're in a button up shirt and I'm in this old vintage cool guy t-shirt, if I'm a booker, I'd pick you every single time. Yeah, but that, see, that's, that's not, but that's not my point. See, I think that's n not necessarily right because you put a lot of effort into those vintage, you know what I mean? There's intention. Well, a lot of times, a lot of the times yeah, yeah. there is intention behind the clothes you wear and those vintage shirts could be depending on the button up I have. Like if I just buy whatever off the, you know, from Macy's or whatever, and it's kind of crooked, doesn't fit me very good. I, I'm, I look weird in it and you have like a really cool vintage shirt. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. It's not like, it's not like suit beats, button down beats, t-shirt beats, sweatpants, right? It's like the highest of those, a, a bad suit loses to like a cool a good vent yeah. vintage yeah. shirt. What? Especially that makes the comfort level of the person in it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. I think, you should definitely. And the funny thing is too, the, this advice is like, Hey, spend a little more, do your best to look your best. But, uh, we leave out the part. We're not making any money when we start comedy. Right. So no, no, no. <laughs> no, but this, so that's, that's, that's why it's not just money. That's, that's the thing. Like it's like taking care of it a little, like some of it's effort, you know, I know for me, just for my own, I've had, I've spent money on nice clothes and then just instantly, let them get wear wrinkled. I've worn really yeah. wrinkled shirts on stage. I've gotten made fun of by other comics by buying a new shirt and wearing it before for the first time on stage. And it still has like the line, the fold lines in it and stuff. <laughs> like there's like little things like that that don't cost money that you can, it's just effort. You know, a lot yeah. of it's so, but yeah, of course, once you get money, money helps like yeah. with everything. <laughs> obviously it's gonna be way easier to become a comedian if you're rich you know because yeah. <laughs> you can just buy all this shit and kind of skip yeah. some steps but no i think that's perfect advice feel figure out what you feel the most comfortable in and then and then buy that and then get like i, I don't like you said it doesn't have to be the best of that but just yeah i think you should but definitely even, look at everything from shoes to if you wear a watch and stuff i think it is and I think you just feel better. I know yeah, when I yeah. get all my shit right, I think I have better performances because I feel like, oh man, I look you good tonight. You told me one time. You told me one time, but I think before Conan or some, maybe it was Last Comic Standing or something, some big show, and you're like, go buy some new underwear. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> if you have a, if any time I have a big important thing, I go buy brand new underwear and brand new socks. Not that expensive, yeah. but that day when you put them on. They're, brand new socks and underwear feel good and then as you for me at least when i put those new underwear and socks on i feel the moment that's how i start the day and let myself know this is a big day you know like when i had those bar stool auditions and shit like i don't know for me it really is like no no, no. it, it, it sets works. the tone from the second i get ready i go okay i shower and then i'm probably thinking about if it's a tv set a big show or whatever it is i'm probably in the shower in my head going you know okay, this is where I'm going to go over. And then when I get out, I put on crisp, nice underwear. I put on those socks. I'm like, all right, this is, this is a day. Let's go get this day. And that's for me, a motivational thing and a cheap motivational thing. And it's always good to just have newer socks and underwear. <laughs> Cause when I'm not doing that, I'm just, right. I mean, I wish I could show you the underwear I have on right now. Obviously I haven't had a big show in a while, but. Well, that's just going to say, you can tell how good you're doing by yeah. your underwear drawer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, exactly. Man. You haven't had any important I would, shows in a while. I was going to add that and just say I would, if you, uh, for me, it's been, it, it's, it was a real, I mean, the day was important enough as it is, but it was, it was like, okay. And I, I just felt good from just that. And that was like, that's not even an outward. No one even knew I was doing that. Like I told you and, and I've, I've told it to people and I forget who told it to me, but it definitely is just a little extra charge on those big days for me at least. Yeah, no, for sure. And I, and like you said, like those little things can add up, you know, yeah. and uh, it's just all these cliches, all these things you fight. I think that's, that's like, I feel like I come back to this a lot, but like 
I was there. I was absolutely one of the people who would, would have sworn to you it doesn't matter what mm-hmm. you wear on stage. And then you just you're around long enough, you see enough comics and you it kind of does. It just yeah. kind of does. And not that you have to wear like a super fancy dress or a super fancy suit, but putting like intention and effort into it will lift things, move the needle yeah. a little bit. And just watch, watch the comics around you. Cause I, I'm with you. I fought it too. I thought, Oh, I can wear whatever I want. I'm funny or whatever. And uh, I made excuses for my hat and I still make excuses for my hat. Honestly, if my head, if I wasn't having like this breakout on my forehead, I need to just commit to no hat. I think it, I do. I can't really argue with my performances are better without a hat on when I can do facial, when I, I can sell and present the jokes more so as much as i if you ever see any performance i've done i probably had a hat on but if i'm being honest i i i'm i think it it, it is better when you don't have a hat on and then if you look at every great comedian you don't see him wearing hats there's yeah. like a reason yeah yeah i mean and that one's like again it was the first thing we let off with because i think it has the most practical applications but this other stuff i think matters too and yeah you know effort and intention that's it yeah that's what i would say yeah so i mean try a little bit try i would say yeah try a little bit and then feel and then i think it'll help you feel better but the you know and uh, again we're sorry to the ladies of this episode we probably should have had a a lady on to because i don't know do is there any lady rules like we have do you think well, I've heard again, like you're absolutely right. We probably should have had Lady on for Sorry. a lot of these episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like uh unfortunately we're just two dudes. It's nothing we can do about it. But yeah. um Well there is some we, pay, we, do we won't it. pay for the bigger <laughs> Zoom yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> premium package to allow more people on this. Yeah, but, we gotta get a Patreon uh, set up if you want a, yeah, a, a yeah. lady on here. No, but I have heard the discussion from old bookers. I don't I'm sure this is not this is frowned upon now, but that to dress more conservatively on stage is preferred for women because then, you know, you're not distract. Same thing with like shorts. You're not distracting the audience or my wife has talked, my wife uh, did stand up for a long time and she's talked about that where she didn't always feel comfortable dressing like super tight clothes or super revealing stuff because she she did it wasn't comfortable for her and so especially on stage when she's trying to be funny you know yeah but then people now i think i think that's kind of an old school thought well i used to i used to work with a comedian uh a girl and she would wear a dress and then she'd wear sneakers and everybody yeah tried to talk her out of it forever but again i think she that's the way she felt most comfortable which she was just like, this is when I think I do my best and I feel the best about myself. And this is, and, and she was trying to get it to be her look. I mean, some of this stuff, if you're yeah, going well, that's a it, That's a good point. Like we didn't talk about that really, but some people really do want to go they're, they're already thinking like my brand and my, my look and like the suit thing can be part of that. Right. Mm-hmm. Just like um, who you were talking about with the dress and the sneakers, you could be, like, I'm, I'm going to be the guy who wears a suit every time. Or I'm going to be the guy like Gabriel Glacius, I am going to be the guy who leans into the shorts thing and the yeah. Hawaiian shirt. I'm just going to do it. And then he's, he, it's easily remembered, you know, and, oh, you're the guy who wears, you know, whatever, the jersey every time or whatever it is. I mean, you can go that way, you know. Yeah. You, want. you can do whatever. I mean, that's the thing. Starting out, I think what we both thought is like, you could do whatever you want and you really can. You're your own, but you could wear whatever you want. Right. And if you are funny, you, I mean, Gabriel's a perfect example. He just wears a Hawaiian shirt and big denim shorts and everyone in the world in comedy would say, don't do that starting out. (laughs) But he, he made it his brand. So again, we're not going to point, especially at at open mics, there are no rules on what to wear on stage that I know of. I've never heard of a club, even like really nice clubs telling you, you can't wear that on stage. Yeah. Well, I mean, the shorts were so ingrained in my head that even if I was at an open mic, I'd feel like I shouldn't go up if I was in shorts, which I think goes against everything we've always said. Go up whenever you can, especially at like open mics. But as your career goes further and you have a showcase and a big show, I mean, I think the effort thing is perfect. And I I think most people probably do it. I mean, thinking back, 
if I had a big show, even though some of the outfits and dumb stuff I wore at the time, I thought it was a good idea. I thought it was a good idea, a good outfit. But yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I've made, I've definitely made awful, awful uh, wardrobe choices along the way. And so yeah. I just try to every day step my game up a little bit. But yeah. Yeah. So I think that's, the, I mean, I would say this if you can get ahead of not wearing a hat, I would do it. I wish I, I wish I would have in the very beginning and just stuck with it. And then other than that, I would be careful with the shorts just because the older, you're going to catch a lot of shit. The older comics are going to be a little, ju- but they'll be judgy anyway. But yeah. I mean, I just know like for instance here, the, the guy that used to run new talent, that was like one of his main rules. You can't perform with shorts. So as much as we say, you can wear whatever you want. Sometimes you you yeah. can't. And just be, and just go. And if someone tells you something like that, you know, it's just, just you don't have to fight everything. You know, yeah. I mean? it's not like always a freedom of speech thing. Just, just show a little respect to whatever the room is. Like we've talked about that in other episodes, but it's like you can start your own room where it's a shorts only show if that's what you really want to do. But yeah. in the meantime, if, if they're like no shorts, just don't wear shorts. And they're doing you a favor in the long run because, like we said, no venue likes short. Nobody likes it. In fact, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. Society is just weighed in, and nobody likes comedians in shorts except for Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that's another great point I think for this episode is uh which could be another episode in itself, but pick your battles and you're going to have a lot of battles in this business and uh I would save some of your energy not fighting these clothes ones. And and I know that from experience looking back on the times I fought this. I probably cost myself stage time and money and 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 in hindsight I should have just put on just I could have just put on a shirt and you know, it's like even though that's like, it's hard for me to say that because it goes against everything I think. It's just like, I hate rules. I, I just think rules are so stupid. But again, sometimes I think I get rules confused with just respecting the room, you know, like, hey, this is how they've done shit for the last 15 years. So who do you think you are? That is this really, you want to come in and make a stand when I could have well, just. Especially for something that's not important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. So yeah, in, in conclusion, I would say if you if you're gonna commit to a hat, you're gonna defend it your whole career. I I would say over time, I definitely think I'm a better performer without it. But if you see me on my show tomorrow night, it'll be on. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> other than that, no shorts is kind of a universal rule. But if you're funny, the the real universal rule is just be funny, right? Anything else you think? Yeah, yeah, and I would just say you know, whatever you're going to wear, just, just try to step it up a little bit. Do the best version of what it is that you do and it'll help you stand out just that little bit extra more. And trust me, I, if, if that sounds phony and, and corny to you, it sounded that way to me for a long time. Yeah. I I would have hated that advice when I was starting out, but it's a hundred percent true. So yeah, there you go. And, uh, and, you'll just, I think you'll just feel better about yourself, which will make you do better. Cause just thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? I would have fought it with you, but the times I really thought I looked dope. Yeah, I was ready. Totally. I, I was ready, to, yeah, I was yeah. ready to have a good, I, I remember walking down the hallway or walking on stage. Like they're going to see this outfit. They're going to hear these jokes. I'm, I'm ready for them, which, uh, it, and it's, it was an easy step up. I, I could have, uh, definitely done that. So, all right. That's it for this week. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these podcasts. Please subscribe, rate, review if you're on iTunes and Spotify. We're up over 40 reviews on iTunes, so that's great. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. And like I said in the beginning, if you could, just please tell your friends. You guys know there's a billion people that think they're comedians, and uh, we're here to help. So tell them it's free and check us out. So we will talk to you soon. Uh, get some nice clothes. And that's it for this week. I'm Brant Tobler. I'm Andrew. I'm going to the mall to get some new sneakers right now. (laughs) I'll have them next show. See ya. (laughs) See ya.